Hello and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. This topic is dealing with a topic we are revisiting called widgets. Um, a lot of changes have kind of manifested since we last did this video tutorial oh, about a year and a half ago. Um, this applies to version 3.9 and above. Uh, both the UI of it has kind of changed and also there's some really cool uh, new features in the uh, customize option over here uh, I think you'll benefit greatly from. Uh, which is a widget live preview front viewer. It's pretty awesome stuff. Uh, but let's get right to it. So let me first define what a widget is in case you're not aware of it. So to get there, first uh, first and foremost, you will go to the widgets uh, sub tab under appearance. And what uh, you'll have these uh, areas called widget wells. And they can be sections on your website, uh, most likely a sidebar, or it could be your footer region or your header region where you can drag what's called widgets into the well and you know of course it populates the con the corresponding content to do with that widget widgets are just think of them like little mini applications or dyna you know little dynamic um, little dynamic modules if you will um, so you can do you can drag things such as a search bar you can drag things like uh, a contact form as I, as I'm showing here uh, and there's a lot of uh, there's several there's about I guess ten or so out of the box from WordPress, but you can download a wealth of them from the plugin store. Um, all that do all kinds of things with social networking, uh, showing things like your Instagram feed, your Facebook feed, um, and on and on and on. The uh, the sky's the limit on what you can do with it. But let's uh, now that you've got kind of a brief overview of what they do, um, I'm going to show you how to quickly add a widget. In this case I have, and I'm going to show you the front end as well, uh, I'm going to go to here. I've got this section set up as my uh, as a widget well. Uh, now I've got a, uh, a navigation panel or custom uh, menu um, widget in here and a search bar. But um, So I'm going to just start from scratch. To delete widgets is as simple as doing this but you want to be careful because of course, if you drag it away and you didn't mean to, you you, you were meant meaning uh, you're wanting to deactivate or disable it. I can show you how to do that in just a sec, but be careful when you do when you when you start dragging things around out of the widget well, because that could, of course, kill your settings and all that and all that stuff. So let's go and straight into how to do it. It's as easy as just grabbing one of these guys, and we're going to do a contact form, dragging in the form widget. Now, of course, you won't get this out of the box if you don't have the application gravity forms. I'm just showing you an example of a widget. Uh, again, there's widgets that do all sorts of things. This happens to be tied into an application uh, called gravity forms. Um, so y the widget you drag in will have varying options. In this case, you can title it. You can select a form. It looks like there's only one form. You can, you know, of course, uh, check these boxes that correspond to this particular widget, and you can go on with advanced options. But I'm just going to, of course, just show you what that does. Um, just to let you know, when you drag in a widget into the well for the first time, it will automatically save. Whatever you do thereafter, it won't save until you hit this magic save button. Now when I refresh my page here, the sidebar is now contact form. So you see the contact form that's here. If I decide I want to get rid of it, like I showed you, you can either click the delete option here, uh, or you can just simply just drag it out of the well. Drag something else in, a search bar, for example. And uh, again, each of these will have their own parameters that you can you can fill in. Search here. Um, now that I customized it, I had to hit save, but the first go around, the search bar would have been there. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to show you a really cool feature that has emerged uh, from WordPress 3.9 and above. It's uh, let me actually go back and show you in case I went too quick. You, under Appearance and Customize, you can go into Live Widget Editing Mode, which is pretty awesome stuff. Um, and now, in addition to whatever your theme, um, you know, uh, provides uh, within customization features such as colors and fonts and that sort of thing, you now have the ability to see via a live preview um, how to, uh, you know, what it's going to look like, uh, you know, live on the web, as opposed to doing it on the back end and then hitting refresh, you know, you can just do it all in one shot here, which is a very, val extremely valuable thing to have now. This is, again, 3.9 and above. 
Um, so you see I had that search bar, but I can, you know, of course, remove it. It takes a few seconds to kind of update here, but there, now it's gone. If you wanted to add a new widget, just click the Add Widget option here. And, of course, there could be different widget wells here, and they'll pile up. And this home page has only the one widget well. Um, but you might have multiples. And yeah, you get a locker box filled with ver uh, different options uh, to populate your sidebar with in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a calendar one. And there you see it live uh, right off the bat without having to hit refresh. None of this stuff is saved though. You don't save anything till you hit the save and publish option. Um, but yeah, it, why there isn't a second widget is because we haven't selected the menu we want to we want to show on the sidebar. It just depends on what uh, parameters are in there as to if it displays uh, dynamically uh, on first drag or if you need to insert additional information. You can reorder it um, by clicking that reorder option as you saw there, up, down, whatever, and you're done. You can stop. You can also, of course, drag and drop, which is a much preferred option, I'm sure. Um, and you can uh, see you can reap the benefits of this awesome new feature that I'm just infatuated with as a WordPress fanatic. <laughs> so I hope you um, I hope you benefit greatly from this, and um, you know feel free to leave any comments or ask any questions. But yes, this this has been a tutorial on the new WordPress uh, options that are available in WordPress 3.9 or above. Don't forget to hit save and publish if you like what you see, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.